Right. Good afternoon, folks, and uh, welcome. And uh, uh, what have we got today? Today we're going to look at this. Uh, this is my. Uh, it's a bit dusty. Uh, this is my two and seventies, two meter and seventy centimeter uh, radio. This is a Yaitsu FT seven seventy nine hundred, which actually is quite a good radio. And I've had this. I've had this radio for some time. It's a good radio, and. Uh, it's also one of those, uh, I don't like the mic jack, I mean, uh, but that's what they fitted, so that's what you get. Um, and also, and also the front is designed to come out so that you can stash, so you can have this in the dashboard and stash that somewhere else anyway uh, this all works fine and we're not really going to make any changes to it as such It'll maybe give it a clean but it all works fine and uh, no worries with it whatsoever and I've had that I've had that since 2011 it's been a really really good radio uh, but what the problem is with it the problem I've got is that uh, uh, that is the aerial socket or in some in some parts of the world they call it the antenna socket but here in the UK it's the aerial socket and that doesn't quite fit so do you know I hate these fucking tape I hate these magnetic fucking leg, legs, remains of legs that stick to your fucking tools of these components. Shoes shows are not using copper anymore, doesn't it? Anyway, what we're going to do, we're going to take the, take the bracket off. And uh, what we'll do, we'll take the radio apart and we'll see how easy it is to change uh, that PL socket. Because if it's easy to, uh, well, that's not a PL socket on that, it's a, it'd be a fucking, you know, it was either too tight for the fucking, too tight for your fingers or too loose for the tool. Anyway, but I quite like this little radio. It's, it's a good little radio, and the reason why I want to change the socket is because I want to use, let's uh, turn the solder iron on ready, is because... Uh, my little my, my radio I want to use here. We can this radio here, uh, the Kenwood TS seven hundred, is you as uh, uh, SSB. Well, my uh, well my uh, my little radio here doesn't have SSB. Now you're probably thinking this is the first time this radio's been opened, but it ain't. This radio's been opened once before in its past, and it was by me. And the reason why it was done was because uh, I wanted to use, and still do, like to use PMR occasionally because I have friends who I talk to on PMR and uh, and basically I had to remove a resist a surface mount resistor to open the box up so that I could actually use it for PMR. But it now works and it does now does that so I'm happy with it. 
but the uh, this this little uh, little radio uh, doesn't have. I mean, changing that socket shouldn't be much of a problem. I'm hoping it's going to be fairly easy, and I'm hoping I'm going to have something that'll do it. I mean, I've got a couple of old SWR meters knocking about. Right. That's all the guts there, heat sink, all your finals are on that. So it's just this top lid and the speaker that lifts out. Uh, we've got the screws in the back. No. So if we get the screwdriver, the little prizer upper, without marring the service, surface, just lift the, if I remember rightly, that's all you do. And then just unplug the speaker. Right. Put that out of the way so we don't cause any stress to scratch it or anything. Right, well this actually should be fairly fairly easy. Because it screws straight into the casting. There's no nuts or bolts. It screws straight into the casting. Let's see what's actually... And there's no components attached to it. And it just comes straight to the top of the board here. It's probably the easiest socket I'll ever change. And I'm going to get the socket off because I know I will have one. I know I will have one. If I haven't, I'll get one ordered. I'll have one by the end of the week. Ooh. So what I want to do, I want to put a standard PL on it. I want to put a standard PL on it so that a P uh, S hole, sorry. Is it an SO? Fuck, I can't remember the fucking numbers they give them. I want to use the standard one that's used on everything else. Um, that way... I don't have to fuck about with this daft thing. I mean, what were they thinking of? Why couldn't they just put a standard socket on? The nice thing is there's no nut behind that. And there's, and there's your fi there's your final uh, that probably a fet or some description. Uh, that's your final there. Uh, whoops, that's your final. And I may as well. I can't I can't remember now where the resistor was. I pulled out, but I pulled the resistor out of this. It was down here somewhere. Um, uh, can't remember now. A very, very tiny resistor I pulled out. But I made that much of a good, neat job of it, I can't even fucking see where I got it out from. So what we need to do next, we're taking the socket off anyway, so I might as well do it now. And I'll zoom in a little bit for you, so you can watch me. <clears throat> I mean, I mean... I mean, I mean, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I'm not a radio. Uh, well, I'm a radio engineer, but I'm not a. I'm not a, a communications radio engineer. What we want to do. We want to remove that blob of solder and that blob of solder there, and the socket should just pull straight off. That is what we're hoping. So we'll try and keep away from any inductors. Anything that gets warm. Wow. That is fucking... Wow. Let's go for this one first. It fucking might be easier. We off there yet? No, we ain't. Oops. 
Well, that sort of fucking came off, didn't it? That was weird because that's not even. What a fucking cheap, shitty way of doing that. I'm gonna go ditch you back. I don't know where that fucking went. It flew over here somewhere. What they've done. Basically, your ground. Basically, this is the ground here, and it's a separate part of the socket. The, the other part of the socket just went straight onto that. What a fucking cheap, nasty way of doing it. But they obviously thought it worked for them. So all I need to do now is find something with that type of socket. Uh, with that configuration. And I think I do have one of them sockets. Let's have a look on the... I'm not going to take anything meaningful apart to get the socket I need. But something is going to lose its life. I'm not going to use that and the reason why is because A it won't fit and B that radio works and I'm not going to use the one off the uni den 200 off the uni off the audio line 341 because it's the same as that one I'm going to have a look at this power meter and see if I can steal the one off the back of this for now and yes I can slightly different but I can steal the one I can steal Put me dummy load down there for a minute. Uh, just for now, until I order one in, because I might want to use the radio later, I can nick this one off here and uh, maybe I have to cut it there with the Dremel to just take them two off. But yeah, we can, uh, we can work with that. Probably get people complaining that I'm, about me nicking things off somewhere else, but I don't care. I don't care folks, I really don't, I mean and what I'll do, I'll put them screws back in on yourself tappers I mean this fucking meter is as cheap as you fucking like and I have got a nice expensive meter fairly expensive, I've got a, a, a Revox one Re Revex, sorry, not Revox, Revex. I've got a Revex one, which I won't even, I wouldn't even consider doing this to. Because it's such a nice meter. But, uh, so basically, I might have to fucking, oh, I thought I was going to avoid taking the top off, but I'm not going to, not going to, am I? Nope. Not going to avoid it. Yeah. But I don't know why, I, you know, I hate them fucking, you know, I, I'm actually thinking it might just go straight on there, that. If it does, that's all well and good. As long as we get it on with a good ground. And we could have a look inside this meter, actually. I don't think I've ever looked inside it, although there is actually, uh, there is actually provision for a light to be connected up in this. And I think it's got, I think, I think it's got LEDs in it. I think I did LEDs, I say now I looked in this, I think I might have done years ago, it's a long time ago, and I, I, I zoom out a bit, a bit further, there we go, I'll do, yeah I bought the Oracle a little Prezi today as well because uh, every time I ask him to get me a roll of solder, he gets me a roll of solder and never takes the money. You know, and it's a bit, uh, yeah. Never takes the money, never takes the bloody money. And, yeah, you know, at the end of the day, it has to be paid for. I mean, you know. I said to him, I said, you should take the money, you know. I said, because uh, if I went out for it myself, I'd have to, you know, I wouldn't get it unless I paid for it. And he does me a favour getting it for me. Anyway, uh, anyway, anyway, I've got a few bits here for him. I'll just quickly show you. Uh, I ordered two of these. No, they're not. No, they're not envelopes. I ordered two sets of these, and now trying to get these 
trying to get these is can be quite fairly difficult these are twiddling sticks and trying to find these nowadays is getting pretty hard anyway I managed to find managed to find some I won't say how much they were but I managed to find some and if anyone's interested I'll send the, the eBay link because uh, these are getting hard to find and when you do find them they can be expensive but I managed to find uh, each one contains 10 tools I bought me a pack and I bought the oracle a pack and you know when you find them they ain't cheap but hey Right, let's, let's have a look. Let's pop that there a minute. Right, well, this is actually a meter and a matcher. And I'm beginning to wish. Oh no, we're okay. Yeah. Uh, you got some. You got some adjustments down there that I dare say somebody at some point would have played with. Uh, some potentiometers, uh, probably 100k or some 100k or some fucking stupid. I don't think one of those are one meg ohm don't know but yeah we've got lights in here and uh, they're not LEDs uh, they are, I don't know whether they're blown or not I'm not anyway we're not in here for lights are we we're not in here for lights we're in here right we're not in here for lights we're in here for the fucking we're in there for the uh, we want the we're not really too fussy about yeah that weren't even fucking I like the way they grounded that bastard okay now what a load of shit they just use the case as the ground well, that's going to be easy to fucking replace, isn't it? So what we'll do next, uh, we won't put the screws back on because we've got to fucking put. We've got to put the top on. We've got to put a new socket on that eventually. So we'll throw the screws in there so we know where they all are. top back on there pop that book on back on top of that now let's see how we do for our fit and fitting of this I'm hoping it's gonna be a part that just drops straight on but I've got a feeling it ain't because the holes are in different places I mean the part does fit let's clean and clean all this dirty solder off the part itself does fit so you know I mean this actually does fit where it needs to where I need it to go and it will but all I need to do let me just see so if I turn that that way there diagonally then yeah there <coughs> right Right, it's what we do. It's the way that we do the way this. It ain't what you do; it's the way that you do it. And then he got that wrong, man. That's what gets results. Move that a bit so we don't accidentally melt through our power lead. Turn this upside down so we don't end up with accidentally any swarf into our radio and I will now put you on pause while I ginger I mean to grind in that way shouldn't be difficult made out of shite right be back soon right well we're back and uh, did a bit of uh, dremeling and a bit of axoring and a bit of uh, filing and a bit of shaving and a bit a bit of everything really 
and we now have a part that actually fits. And not only does it fit, it actually fits well. And it's just right. Okay, yes, you can tell that I didn't buy the correct part. You can tell that I was done it, I do it yourself. But there we are. Now what we need to do with that, just check that we, what we need to do with this now, just check that we're grounded, because we don't want to turn our radio on and key our mic and got no ground. Don't need to kill our finals, do we? Or final, rather. Don't need to destroy our radio. Uh, this has been a good radio, this is. Oh, get off. There we are. There's negative. Perfect. Now all we have to do... Do you know, this job was easier than what I thought it was. Now all we do is we get our solder. And we get our iron, and the tip is the right length. The tip is the right length that comes through the, comes through. So, all we do is just There we are. There we go. Perfect. Just make sure that we're not shorted. We shouldn't be. I don't even have to check that, but I will. I don't even have to check this, but I will. Perfect, nothing. And check it onto a bit further in. Go to there. Yep. And that's. I think it's an SO509 socket in it. It's the opposite of a PL509 in it. I think it's an SO9 or something like that. But there we are folks, our radio, our radio has now been converted to the SO509 or whatever it fucking happens to be. So we can actually change the plug on our, on our coax. We can put our radio back together. Doesn't take much, does it, folks? Doesn't when you know what you're doing. And you've got a plan. You know, on a Dremel and a bit of an axe. I couldn't find my cutting discs and my Dremel. So I used the axe to put grooves in where I needed them. And then just snapped them off with the wire cutters and a pair of pliers and that part of the job is called brute force and ignorance and these 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 modern sockets you know they're not like the old ones they're made out of like white metal polished up because yeah, that's what because that's how they, that's, you know they're so brit they're dead brittle they're <laughs> really brittle easy really easy to snap 
uh, they're really easy to snap but that weren't a problem because I wanted to snap it so I weren't bothered I was glad for once that something was easy that something gave that easily without ruining the parts of the socket I did need but uh, I'm going to go on the radio tonight because I've not been on the radio for a long time and to be perfectly honest with you uh, you know it would be nice to get back on there again uh, but I want to do a bit of SSB and I want to get to grips with this old girl here so you know I'm going to what I'll do next I'll get a switch box what I'll do next, I'll get a switch box so that I can switch between the two radios uh, because they both have they both have features that I would like. I think I think I've got a switch box actually. Uh, yeah, there's a switch box when I did that deal with Pete. I could also check my SWR now on that on that call in here because I've never been able to check that because I've never had a patch lead to fit the SWR meter. So I've never never been able to check it. But but that being said, I can't see it being that far out because I've had conversations with people all over the place. I mean like uh you know, we're talking You know, we're, to, we're talking uh, 30 or 40 miles, maybe more. So, I don't think the SWR should be that far out, but we'll find out. Or I'll find out. But, uh, I do like my... Uh, Yeah, I do do like my I do like my little radio, and I didn't want to didn't want to do anything to this little radio, so that I could prevent use to prevent it from being used. Uh, you know, I didn't want to ruin this little radio, so. Could do with a bit of a polish up, I suppose. Could do the polish, but it's in good condition. I mean, I look after me stuff. I mean, you look after your stuff, it looks, that looks after you. It's as simple as that. You know? And, you know, you take care of what you buy, and you'll have it for a long time. I mean, I mean, I don't put... Uh, You know, I, I don't put my radials through any form of stress. I mean, like that lead there didn't want to go in. I could have forced that in. Because if it had a twist, I could have forced that, no problem. I could have forced that and it would have gone in. But, why? Why, 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 why? Why do that? Let's give the bottom of the bracket a wipe. I have the bracket, so obviously, well, we know why I have the bracket. But uh, as I say, I purchased this radio I uh, when I first did me purchased it in two thousand and eleven. When I first did me test, uh, when I did me when I got, first got my license, I purchased it then. Uh, just after my first handheld, because I want my second one of them, because the first one ended up getting a fucking coffee bath, which was a shame. But. Uh, you know, at the end of the day, uh, I want that, yeah, right up. Hey, there's another Donald. Uh, I've been a bit of slack the Donalds just lately. I don't know what it is, I apologise. 
you know, I am really, really sincerely sorry that McDonald's have not been up to standard really, but, you know, we do our best, you know, I think I need to eat more beans, uh, we'll tighten them properly in a minute, we'll just get everything in first. Should be another one of them screws on here. I took four out, we're putting fucking four back in. Right, where's the other one? Come on, you come on, you couldn't where are you? You're on here somewhere, there you are. I mean I mean to be honest folks, for what it is. I'm not going to make it out to be something it ain't, but for what it is, this is actually quite a good sounding radio. You know, for what this is, it's a good, good sound. I'm going, to, I'm going to spray a bit of cleaner in the mic socket. There we are. Wipe off the excess. Now let's get the get the microphone and plug the microphone in a couple of times. There we are. The fan doesn't need cleaning. Uh, that's it. Our new uh, our new uh, SO socket on the back correctly done I mean yes it's uh, it would have been nice to actually have one bought but you know that's good enough but do the job don't know where the other fucker went he just flew off over there somewhere ain't got a clue and anyway we're uh, we're there now we're all done I shall uh, I shall now go and set this radio up Ring up my friend Pete and uh, I shall get a radio report. But before I do that, I have to change the socket. I have to put a PL plug on it now. <laughs> on the lead. Which is no problem. Because uh, I've got, I think there's one knocking about somewhere. But there again, that being said. If I can't do it right now, um, the job's been done anyway, and that mic could do it a bit of a polish. I mean, there's not really much to that mic. All it, all it is is it's a, it's a one of them little ele ele electric condenser mic things, but. Uh, <laughs> I can't let you hear it because the other half of the audio, lead, the other half of the lead is in the uh, is in the power supply. I could jerry rig that, but I've got now connected because I've just nicked my fucking thing, so I've got now connected with. So I'm not going to do that. Uh, we'll give the uh, let's just get the get the detergent, and we'll give this a bit of a clean. To be honest, because it could do with it. It's sat on my table for years, and uh, you give it a wipe, make it look like it just come out of the box. I mean, it's not a bad, not a bad, not not a bad little radio. This it's. I mean, I've, it's not the best in the world. It never will be. It's. And it wasn't expensive either. I mean, for what it is. I mean, it's a little. I mean, it's a Yesu, so they're good anyway, but, you know, I think I paid, uh, I think I paid about fucking 60 or 70 quid for the fucking thing. I can't remember. I, got, I ordered it from China, because I waited for a while for it to come, because that was the cheapest I could find it. So, because I had my little handheld, I weren't really worried, and I had my HF at the time, so I weren't really worried about waiting for it, so... You know, that was it, really. Uh, so, 
you know, that's it. That's the uh, the socket done. That was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. And it won't come off. And it won't fall to bits. Hopefully. <laughs> I mean, the last one had two pins on two screws on it. And... I mean, come on. Uh, how often do you actually unplug your aerial? You know, how often do you actually unplug that? You don't do it. Once it's in, it's in, isn't it? You know. Anyway, I'm going to have to... Uh, I'm going to have to go through the front room and change a PL plug which means we've got to clear all this which means we've got to clear all this off the iron because I don't have another, well I do have another iron but it's in the cupboard and I can't get to it so So I'm gonna to have to take this take this iron with me. Let's turn it off. Well actually I leave it on because if I turn it down and it means it won't be available straight away. It means I have to wait for the cunt to get fucking eat, 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 eat back up again. And this is a good iron, I bought this soldering iron at the last Goldborn meeting we went to. Uh didn't do bad. Uh, six pounds it was. Six pounds, that's all he wanted was six pounds. So I gave him six pounds. And uh, he had another one next to it. And he was one of the Maplin ones. He wanted a tenner for that. And I don't like them, they burn out. I don't like them. Not very really good. And I said to him, I said, that's the one you should be asking six pounds for. After I paid him, that is. Yeah, so that's the one you want six pound for. You know, I mean, because this one was easily worth a tenner. You know, in my opinion, but uh, he wanted six. He got six. Uh, you know, you know. I don't. Always, I don't, don't get me wrong. I don't always pay the price or knock people down. If somebody's got something and it's worth a bit more than what they're asking, if I think it's worth a bit more, then I'll give a bit more. I don't mind. I'll say, oh, no, you're under, you're under ass, you know, you, you know, yeah, you know, if it's, say, say a fiver, I'll say, oh, yeah, I'll have a tenner. If it's worth it, you know. Uh, it's like record players. I pay a tenner for my record players. Um... You know, I don't care whether they work or whether they don't. I pay a tenner for them. But if something special comes in, like that uh, Ferranti Fidelio, something like that comes in, then I'll allow a bit more. I mean, I allowed the guy 20 quid on that. Uh, because, it, to me, it's something special. And the condition of it, and uh, what I expected to find inside, you know, was way more than what I thought. I expect it to be more like a Dynatron Mazurka. Um, I've got a Dynatron Mazurka amp actually. I need to pull that out and uh, maybe do some tests on that. Some, uh, you know, uh, some, you know, put a tone into it. Uh, what I'm pl what I'm actually gonna do? I'm gonna make up. Uh, I'm gonna make. I'm gonna make up some dummy. Man, I shouldn't have to make up any dummy loads. I've got a, I've got a watt meter there which has got dummy loads built in, and uh, up to ten up to ten watts, so it should be all right. So uh, I'm gonna look at doing stuff like that, uh, showing you the response curves and how fit, how amplifiers, you know how it, how various amp how how a supposedly well made amplifier. Like the like the ones in the Dynatron Mazurkas, which were well, which were well made, they weren't as well made as that ones in that Ferranti Fidelio. For for they're beautiful amps, uh, but nevertheless, they're still well made, and uh, you know, and the push pull, they're still push pull, they're not single ended, the push pull. So you know, you're getting a fair amount for your money. Not that there's anything wrong with single ended. I mean. 
I've had some single-ended amps that sound really, really good. And then I've had some that sound really, really crap. Like the ones that you find in dance sets. You know, uh, you know they're, uh, they're, 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 crap, they're, they're crap amplifiers. And then, you know... Uh, you know, you can go, you can get get something else, or something like out of a Ferranti, a single-ended item, amp out of a Ferranti or something. Yeah. Or, or even a Regentone, them Regentone amplifiers, they sound better than Dan Set ones. And they're single-ended, and, uh, you know, for what they are, they're a damn good amp. They're good at doing what they do. I'm hoping to get onto record players soon. Um, I haven't really got anything to be honest. I mean, everything that could, everything that Charlie brought me, I've pretty much done. I've been through it all. Uh, so you know, there's not really. I've not really got anything. I did have. I did have a Stella Stroke Phillips, but I scrapped that. Uh, I scrapped that. He made a nice job of the cabinet. I won't throw the cabinet though. I'll keep it because I've built something into it. Uh, I will keep the cabinet in the deck. But I scrapped the chassis because basically, uh, you know, you know, I like to sell them, and I would never for for the space provided, and the location of the components, they could have spaced everything out a lot better than what they did. It was just just not. I just didn't consider it a very safe chassis, and uh, it was. Uh, Components just laid over the top of components with no shielding or sleeving, and uh, I just I thought I'm not going to have trouble of rebuilding all that. I thought fuck it, so I scrapped the fucker. Uh, I'm turn I'm actually turning it into a solid state. I'm going to wait until J. I'm currently working on an amp a preamp. Um, I'm, I'm, I've got a few ideas, but I'm gonna. I'll probably what I'll probably do. I'll probably wait until uh, Jay has perfected his circuit, and uh, just borrow his circuit from him, and in exchange for me lending him the filler shave twist, of course. And uh, uh, you know, I will. Uh, I will uh, just build his circuit and use that. Uh, to drive my cartridge uh, but uh, uh, I want to go I want to try and go one stage further if I can I want to try and go for bass and treble controls instead of a tone I'm not my with which but yeah bass and treble control would be nice uh, if I can't go if I can't if I can't manage a bass and treble control then I'll have a tone control and I'll just put a toggle switch on for the on and off to fill the extra hole up that's how we will deal with that. Uh, and we'll probably move the knobs to the front. Probably move the knobs to the front of the cabinet, which is where I think the knobs should be. Um, but uh, yeah, that's where we that's what we're looking at. That's what we're looking at doing. I can hear something outside of the Distinctive rattle of a diesel engine. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna leave it there, folks. That's uh, the little Yesu uh, FT uh, seven thousand <sighs> seven thousand nine hundred or seventy nine hundred, whichever you want to whichever way you want to say it. But that's it. You wouldn't believe it, would you? That little thing's capable of 50, 50 watts. You know, you wouldn't believe it. Probably doesn't do anywhere near that, but... You know, mind you, you don't know, though, do you? I mean, I've never actually checked the power. Uh, but, yeah, I think it's... Uh, I actually think, you know, it does say in the manual that it's... Uh, you know, it has three stages of power... Uh, which is high, low, medium. Medium is 20 watts. Uh, low power is about 4 watts or 5 watts or something like that. And high power is 50 watts. 
I mean, I don't use it on 50 watts. I'm only allowed because of my, my license term. Uh, my, li my license conditions allow me to... Uh, because I'm only an M6. Uh, my license conditions only allow me to... Uh, to put out 10 watts. Uh, that's uh, that that but that that is actually from the that is actually from the uh, from the feeder from the feeder of the aerial. It's uh, I mean the radio the, ra the the radio can put out a bit more because it, uh, I mean they do allow a bit more from your radio because your radio you'll lose some as it goes up your aerial so I can put out about 12 watts at the rate, 12, maybe 14 watts at the radio, as long as it doesn't, as long as it doesn't exceed 50, uh, 12 watts at the aerial. So, which it, you know, it will, because you obviously get lost. So, you know, uh, uh, I, gen I generally have this set on 20 watts and uh, take into account my losses and, you know, Sometimes I have it on five watts. It depends, depends on what, what it depends on where I'm talking to. Really, if I'm talking local, I turn the power down. You don't need all that. You don't need to put your your, your output transistor through that. You know, you don't need to. You don't. You, you know, you don't need your fan turning on and off every couple of seconds. Uh, but it's actually got a safety feature in this radio. If you keyed up. For longer than fifteen minutes, which I can't think how anyone would want to be keyed up that length of time yapping, but if you are keyed up for longer than fifteen minutes, and it does work, I have tried it. Uh, <laughs> I have tried it with my mate Pete. Uh, we can have long. Uh, uh, we we can we can have long Q souls, That's for sure. Uh, and uh, you know, and uh, it just drops off. You know, you, you know, your fan comes on and, you know, it just drops off. It's a safety feature, so you don't cook the output. Uh, which is a good feature, which in my opinion, I think is a good feature. <laughs> but yeah, it'd be nice to get... Uh, I, need to, I need to dig out my switch box, because he did give me a switch box with all this stuff. Because there was a lot of stuff, and there was a switch box. I remember seeing it now, it was... God knows where it is. It's in the bedroom somewhere. Because what happened was he gave me the stuff to sell it for him. And uh, the radios were put on a shelf in here with the mics and stuff. And I put the other smaller stuff in a box in the bedroom. So it is it is in a box in the bedroom. There's trouble is there's a few boxes in the bedroom. So I'll have to root through them. Uh, and find out which has got uh, the few bits in that came from Pete. But uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to I'm looking forward to getting this sorted out. Getting you know, do a little bit of sideband work. Uh, have a chat. Have a you know, uh, have a mess about with it. I've not uh, not done any. I've never done any two meter sideband. I've never been on two meters on sideband. I've never had a sideband radio for that. So it's nice to actually get this and. You know, I uh, I got this off him at a good price. That's between me and him, but it was a good price. Uh, you know, I didn't do bad. I think anyway. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm quite I'm quite happy with that. I'm happy with the way that socket turned out anyway, because it's now got the right socket on. So you know. Uh, uh, all my, all my, all my area, all, all my radios, uh, all my radials will now fit. I mean, I can't use, I can't use an HF radio on a call in here, obviously not, and uh, that'd be foolish. But uh, that'd be rather stupid. Uh, but me uh, two meters, two two meter sets like these, yeah. And anything else I get, because uh, all the old two meter stuff, all all the old stuff, had is had these proper PL, these pr proper old connectors on these S, S O, five or one or whatever they are. Can they had these old these old connectors on? Uh, it's only the new stuff they started putting daft, daft BNC connectors and 
uh, shit like that on them and uh, connectors that look like an SO connector but are not and your damn aerial won't bloody plug in you know so that's a load of fucking it's a load of pissing about really I mean I, I understand why they do it they do it so you can't accidentally plug your cold in here into your HF but you know uh, I wouldn't do that anyway uh, not because I'm, I think I'm smarter than everyone else. I wouldn't do it because uh, I would actually have if I if I if I was if I was actually unplugging aerials all the time and swapping to different radios in and out. I would actually have the aerials. I'd have the I'd have I'd, I'd have I'd have the plugs labelled. I'd have labels on the on the end of the, on the just just where the coax goes into the plug. I'd have air. I'd, I'd have labels on them. You know, uh, which would say HF and two meter. Uh, so I wouldn't make the mistake anyway. But you know, that's why it's done. I mean, I think that's why it's done. But I'm happy with the job I've done. I mean, if it if it had had the cutters for me Dremel, if it had had the cutters for me Dremel. I'd have been able to cut that nice and neat, and you wouldn't have known you'd have thought it was factory. Uh, but uh, yeah, that ain't going nowhere. It's dead tight, as tight as it needs to be. Uh, didn't over tighten it. You only need it snug. You don't have to swing on it. Just just above snug, so that when you know uh, with the rigors of uh, you know with the rigors of uh, tightening and unloosening, tightening and loosening the PL plug, then. You know, you allow for the fact that the socket could come loose, but it shouldn't, because uh, you shouldn't have to be um. You know, if you uh, the way I look at it, folks, if you if if you're unplugging this all the time, then you've got a problem. I mean, I'm going to be on. I mean, I'm going to plug it in and check get a, get a radio report from Pete in a bit when I do the put when I put the PL plug on the end of the coax. Uh, when I've done that, I will go on and get a radio report, and uh, I will uh, I will check. Uh, I will also check this old girl out as well, because uh, Pete's got everything, so we can, you know, we can get uh, radio reports and uh, see how well everything's working, and I can even check the SWR as well. Anyway, on that, I'm going to make myself a coffee before I get stuck into doing any of that. I shall catch you later, my friends. Thank you very much for watching. And by the way, if you haven't subscribed and you like what you see, subscribe. Uh, and uh, clang, uh, clang that bell at the bottom. Uh, hit the bell at the bottom so that you get notified of any new content I put up. Uh, this might be the last radio video for a bit. It might be the last video of any video for a bit because I haven't really got anything in. I have to have a scratch round, see what there is. If anybody wants anything repaired, and I do take in repairs, uh, I, will put, I will put my email address at the bottom of this video so you can get in touch. Uh, my repairs are covered by a, by a three month warranty. Uh, I do warranty the repair for three months. Um... I do first class work. I don't skimp. I don't take. I don't take shortcuts. I don't cut corners. Don't do any of that. Uh, I will do a video if requested. If it's unusual, I've not done it before. I will do a video, whether requested or not. Uh, I will certainly do a video on doing your amp. I don't always do a video on doing the decks. Because most decks are BSR or Garrard, and you've seen me do them a million times. So I just, unless a customer, unless somebody rep, unless somebody uh, stipulates that they want a video, want to see it on video. Uh, that implies that implies two things. It implies they want to see it on video, and secondly, it implies they don't trust me. So they want to see what I am doing. Uh, 
for what they are paying. And that's, uh, I would normally say, well, that's fair enough, but I don't think it is. Because, uh, you know, when you buy when you, when you you when you buy a bottle of milk from the shop, you don't see the process, you know, they want a pound. You don't see the, you know, you don't question that. You don't say, say oh, well, I want to see why it's a pound. I want to see a video of the farmer sort of pulling the cow's tit. And then I want to see a video of it going through the bottling plant. You know, you, you, you don't. So, you know, uh, don't see why I should be questioned either. But if somebody, but I will do videos on request of some people's I have customers' items. Uh, I will always play the Philly Shave Twist because I know people like to hear that. Uh, and you know something, you know, people have tried to get that record and nobody's managed to find it. And I reckon I've probably got, it might even be, you know, I'm, I'm hammering that on YouTube and that might be worth a fortune, that record. You know, I might have a fortune sat under, sat, sat, sat under my bench there, my little, my little, on my little cubby shelf where I keep, we keep test records. It could be a fucking fortune sat there in that one record, you don't know. My, my, I might only have the what the only one left. Uh, I think I know where they came from though. I think what it was back in the early days, uh, manufacturers used to give you a record. Certain manufacturers would give you a record with a product. I remember it being done with uh, the Breville sandwich makers when they first brought, first brought them out. You got a copy of Golden Brown by the Stranglers. Uh, the connection being that the Breville did your toasted sandwich, Golden Brown. Yeah, texture like son. Yeah. Anyway, because a friend of mine's mum bought one when we was kids. And she pulled it out of the box and whatnot. And uh, Golden Brown was still in the charts. And I was actually thinking of buying it that week. I've still got it. I was thinking of buying it that week. And uh, she pulled the record out of the box. And uh, she just threw it. She said, yeah. She was a scouts lady called Kath. She says, yeah. She said, you may as well have that. Anyway, she, anyway, she said, anyway, she threw it to me. Uh, she passed it to me like and it was golden brown and I said oh thanks I was planning on getting that this week and I don't have to now and uh, that was it but uh, I, I got something else in the car. I can't remember what I bought I bought another one instead uh, but so yeah and I think that's where that Philly Shave record come from I think when you bought a Philly Shave shaver back in the 60s uh, back in 62 uh, you got a copy of the Philly Shave Twist with the shaver uh, I think that's what I think in the box I think that I think that's where you got it I think that's where it came from but failing that uh, there is another possibility I think the Oracle uh, it was either Jay or the Oracle one of the two can't remember which said that basically it was someone so that basically what it might have been, it might have been a promo that they sent to stores to be played in the shaver department. You know, uh, to be played in the men's department where the shavers were. So it could have even been for store use. But, uh, you know, it's a pretty catchy tune though, isn't it? You know, but uh, I like it. I mean, it's a brilliant song. But, uh, you know, I think, it, you know, but everybody that has a record player repaired, uh, I will play the Philly Shave Twist. Uh, and see how we go from there. You know, but what we'll do now, just before we end the video, let's just have a quick look at our twiddling sticks that we purchased. Uh, I purchased two lots of these, as you know. I got a packet for the Oracle because, uh, you know, he got me my solder and wouldn't take the money for it. And, uh, you know, I would you know, to be honest with you, it has to be paid for, doesn't it? So, 
you know, and I know I help him out, but that's besides the point. I help him out because of my friend. I don't help him out because I get something for it. But I don't think that way, I never have. I just think it's nice to do something for somebody. And as long as they, as long as they appreciate it, then that's all fair enough. That's all you want is their appreciation. Don't want anything else. So what we'll do now, we'll we'll have a look at this. And we'll see what we've got here. Right. Well, they're twiddling sticks. Uh, I don't know why they taper down like that, but they do. Don't know why they take. Oh, for, oh, it sort of gets the point in it. But that's a really fine one. Then you've got that one there, which I need one of them actually for a forthcoming job. You can't fucking you know, wear the top of the fucking head. It's fucking like the a, like a lot just a, a little bit sticking out, and that locks onto it. I'll zoom in a bit. And that slots onto it. These are plastic trimming tools. They're not the most expensive you can get. But there again. I don't like ceramic ones. Because if you drop them they can break. Uh, but these. Yeah they, they, they feel nice in there. They've got a grip on them. Uh, they feel nice in the hand. I'm just checking that we're in shot. Uh We've got all different sizes. We've got ten different sizes. Uh, did we get any hex ones? Oh, we didn't get any hex ones, unfortunately. But some that some that account are sunk. Didn't get any hex ones, unfortunately. But that's no problem. Well, it's a bit of a shame that we didn't get any hex ones. Didn't get any X key ones, which is a shame, really. I would have liked a couple of X key ones. But that being said, uh, you can usually do the hex key ones with a flat anyway. You can, that's how I do them anyway. You can usually do them as long as you're not too fucking heavy handed. But that being said, I could probably chop one of these down. Uh, I could probably chop one of these down and turn it into a hexagon to make one of those up if I needed it. But maybe not but uh, yeah a lot of these actually look the same size to be perfectly honest and they probably are you'd have to look at them whoops oh for fuck's sake yeah it's fucking dropped onto the floor Oh, it's dropped somewhere. Where the fuck's that? Well, there it is. It drops onto the, onto the little shelf there. So basically, let me shift that out of the way. So basically, we've got a nice little... We've got, so we've got basically... Oop, just fucking slide out your hands. But uh, yeah, what what, we, what what you get? You, ba you basically... You get ten... You get ten... You get ten tools. And I think most of them are the same fucking size, to be perfectly honest. Uh, these ones, they, they, they're not, they're a fairly big one. Uh, but I think a lot of them are pretty much the same fucking size. Doesn't tell you the size on them. But, uh, you know, the only one that's different, the only ones, the only two that are different... And they actually are different sizes that look different are them two round ones uh, you know but uh, they're what we need and to be perfectly honest I have got some X ones somewhere but I can't fucking find them I've got some hex ones uh, and that's uh, that's one for yeah but I haven't, got, I haven't got one available at the moment. I've got a chassis somewhere, but I'm not sure where it is. Which has, which uses that one. 
Uh, so we'll be doing something with that. And then we've got that one there, which is, yeah. I mean, uh, so that's it. Alignment tools. And made in Taiwan, you get 10 of them. And when you find these, you should you should try and buy them when you find them because they're actually hard to find because who, who does alignments these days? You know, apart from us hobbyists. You know, I mean, there is no... I mean, there is no professional electronics repair business anymore, like Shango 066 said. You know, we're all amateurs now because... Uh, you know, there, there is no professional repair business, so we're all we're all amateurs and hobbyists, and he's absolutely bang on. But yeah, I got a set of these for me, and I got a set for Steve. And I shall grace him with a phone call soon and tell him his his uh, twiddling sticks have arrived, and I shall put them in the drawer, and he can come and collect those when he is able to at some point. Anyway, folks, we're going to find the remote control for the video camera. Uh, it should be around here somewhere. You know, I always, I ate it when I put it down, but there it is. It's right, right in front of me fucking face. And I can't fucking see it. So I'm gonna give I'm gonna I'm gonna give uh, Steve a quick ring. Tell me twiddling sticks there, and I'm gonna give my mate Pete a quick ring after I've changed the PL plug, after I've put a PL plug on that wire, and uh, I can plug the radios in, and we can uh, we can perhaps have some fun on the radio for a bit. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it there, and I'll catch you later, folks. And thank you once again for watching. Bye for now.